Well, what is going on, you guys? And welcome back. So today is day for the Premier League again. It is West Ham versus West Brom of 2016-17. Premier League season. Last time we played West Brom, we lost 4-2 at their place. It was a really, really bad day. We were, we were just awful. We went 4-0 down and we were luckily able to pick up two extra goals, but uh, but still ended up with us losing well deserved to West Brom on the day. However, today's day for revenge. But beforehand, uh, before any game, I always go running uh, like I did in the other video. I ran around the ground, but instead of running around the Olympic Park today, I thought I'd run around Upton Park. I've not been there since West Ham versus Man United last season, the last and final game of Upton Park. But I thought today's the day to go back there and remember everything that happened. It's going to be very emotional, it's going to be a lot of taking and to be honest I'm not actually seeing what it looks like so for I know it might not even be there at the moment, I'm not actually seeing any pictures or anything, I've, I've sort of tried to hide away from all those images so it's time to see what it actually looks like for now and show you guys what, what's going on with it. Let's do it. Today's going to be an emotional one. Right, if you can hear me, there's my local pub, the Black Ball. Great pub to go in before match, step before kickoff. And also the early games as well. It's a really, really good place. Ambus is great. Lovely people, lovely owners as well. Big shout out to the Black Ball. Can you say that? I've disappeared. Can you say that? I wasn't there for you when you went into hiding on the front steps of your porch. Then I reflected on the memories, but I put out that torch. Can you say that? I've disappeared. I'm on the Rumford Road where Forest Gate connects with Stratford. Uh, so I thought I'd come here actually because in these flats here, I was born new in General Hospital and uh, in, this, in this flat here, this is where I grew up when I was a baby. So this is where I lived. So not far from West Ham at all. Local team. Disappeared. Disappeared. Can you say that? I wasn't there for you when you went into hiding on the front steps of your porch and I replaced at the bottom of Woodgrange Road in Forest Gate, going up, up going down Upton Lane and gonna go straight to Upton Park. Let's do it. We're okay, so on our match straight to Upton Park for any kickoff, me and my family would always go into this place here called the Hudson Bay for breakfast, drinks, basically like our black ball, but this is where we go before games for Upton Park. Sad play, not been here for a long, long time. And here is where one of our owners started their business empire pirate shop no comment <laughs> disappeared can you say that i wasn't there for you when you went into hiding on the front steps of your porch then i reflected on the memories but i put out that torch can you say that i disappeared okay guys so i'm on green street now this road leads directly to upson park and one thing if you're from around the area like i am one thing you have to love is curry and this place here the Lahori Express was my favorite place to go for curry I have not had one from there in ages so I'm probably gonna have to have one from there at some point actually but it was absolutely gorgeous what they'd make it was my favorite place and uh, the owners know us as well so gonna have to go there again soon let's get going So I'll show you in a second, but down this road you can still see the top of the west stand. It doesn't feel like anything's quite changed yet. But so if I, if I zoom in, you can see it. Too many memories to come back already. Too many. Alright guys, so I'm currently at Upton Park Station. Although I never used the train to actually get to a West Ham game here, however, every time we'd walk past it, there would be tons of claret and blue shirts flying out there, people singing their hearts out and getting ready to be fired up for the game. And yeah, now it's just normal people coming out there. It just feels not right, really. So another thing I just thought I'd pick up is uh, this whole road, Queen's Road, will be absolutely chock-a-block with fans queuing up to get onto the train to go back home. I mean, I'm not even, not even an exaggeration down to the bottom. I mean, this is a long street. The bottom down there 
would just be packed up with West Ham fans. It's, uh, it just feels wrong to see it empty. You see a little tumbleweed going wrong there. You just see it's gutted. Queen's Fish Bar, it, it, it's gone. I'll tell you what, the, one of the most astonishing things about this place was it would look like it was, it was a packed out place. It, well, it was packed out, but it looked like it would be such a long queue, really, really long, and, but they would serve so quickly and you wouldn't be waiting long and it, the chips were just perfect as well i mean they'd be perfect before a match day and just getting you ready for the game really this place used to be absolutely packed out match day it's really hard to get a drink i'm honest but one of my favorite pubs of all time gonna go inside let's have a look all right so uh we're in the queens now and i tell you what just for me personally i've never seen this place empty because i'm always here on match day so this is really, really weird experience for me at the moment. It's just so weird to see it all quiet. I'm, I'm expecting to come in here and see West Ham fans singing, jumping up and down, watching football and having a laugh. But at the moment, all I'm hearing is silence and talking. It's, it's just different. Right, so here, this is where Gary Firminger, who sold the Overland and Sea, would sell his fanzines right here. He would stop, chat with fans. He absolutely loved it, every bit of it. It was really, really nice, like talking to him every time before a game. And he's not here anymore. He doesn't sell them, I don't, he doesn't actually sell them anymore. So it's quite disappointing, really. I really enjoyed reading those. Even when I was a young lad, I used to get my dad to read them to me because we'd always have a bad result and he'd always put something funny in the, uh, in the actual fanzine itself. Always have a good laugh about that. But yeah. Times change. Now look at all of this. Oh my. What's happened to this place? Look at it. What has happened to our beautiful ground? It's very tough taking this scene. I didn't actually think it'd be this hard, me. So much history just going. One, two, three, and four bedroom homes. And all I wanted was my football ground to stay here. Let's have a look. The car park. <laughs> this was actually the car park. And it's gone. Look, this is what's left. Oh my. Have you got the right protection? The only protection I need here is a handkerchief of all the tears I'm shedding for looking at this. I still can't believe it's going, I still can't believe it. An exciting new destination. I hope they don't mean the Olympic Stadium because, you know, I want my ground back. I want some Park back. Let's keep going, guys. Let's, let's keep going. On one bright hand, guys, Euro Domestic Appliances and Furniture seems to be doing all right still. So uh, right here guys, this is where I used to go in for up to, into Upton Park with my season ticket every week. So many years of my life coming through here. Oh, just, it's weird looking at it now, it really really is, look at it. Just go through one of these, get in and watch my beautiful team play. I don't know what to say, I'm, I'm lost for words, I'm lost for words. Right, so this is the bowling behind me. The pub that me and many other fans go to before and after a game. Great atmosphere, like all the pubs around here though, to be honest, but this one was special. Always coming here after a win, I think. And uh, yeah, now, but yeah, there is something a bit more important in this video for me personally. And now there's been a huge debate about this. So the owners want to move this statue to the Olympic Stadium due to the fact that we've moved it, we're in a new area. And the other argument is that West Ham fans want to stay here because it's the heritage of the club. This is where Bobby Moore played. And this is our home. Despite it going, getting knocked down, this is where West Ham came from. This is where we grew up. This is where I grew up personally. 
and many other fans. And I personally think, my own personal preference, that this should stay here. I think it's a mistake if they move it. I think we should make a new statue over there with something new on it. This is West Ham. But this is what shows where West Ham played and I think it would be such a huge mistake if we were to move it. This is just my personal opinion. I, I, if you guys have got an opinion on it, please leave a comment below and tell me what you think as well. But I want to stay here. Burning down the walls, we let the monsters in And now we're running down the halls No, we can't let them win There's an evil inside That is lurking way down below And if I so we're on Barking Road right now. This is our camp fish and chip shop. Not only was it just for match days for me and my family, we come here in the week and go in there and get chips. These were our, this was our favorite place to go. And they're still open now, actually. It's not shut, luckily enough. It's still here, which I'm really, really glad to see. Can you say that I disappeared? Can you say that I wasn't there for you? When you went into hiding on the front steps of your porch, then I just one of the best place, best stadium in the world is now just gone. <laughs> Not sure what to really say here, just... I really don't know what, to, I just don't know what to say about all this. It's just, it's absolutely heartbreaking. Home is just destroyed at the moment. It's not going to be here soon. It's all going to be gone. It's going to be gutted. It's absolutely, it's just so heartbreaking to look at all this. This beautiful ground, our history, our home. It's just going to be got all gone soon. And this is what left. At, this is what is left at the moment. I can't. I'm absolutely torn. A bit, a bit heartbroken, if you want to call it. Right, enough of all this. Let's get back. I'm gonna get back home. I'm gonna get ready for the game, and I want three points there. I need something to cheer me up after looking at all this. Let's get it. Let's do it. Come on, you irons. Right, guys. I'm now back home in Stratford, a few miles away from Upton Park. But if I'm honest, it doesn't feel like a few miles. It feels like more like a million miles away from my spiritual home. Uh, hopefully, West Sam can get three points against West Brom today. It really, really, you know, up my spirit. I'm a bit. Uh, I'm feeling really empty. But um, come on. High hopes, get my get me three points today. Hashtag cheer up fatal. All right, you guys, walking up to the ground, I have no comment on banana skin alley today because there's none there. But there is one on the floor, but it's just not good enough. Okay? I'm not relying on bananas today, I'm sorry. But today is a day we do today's a day we do not rely on banana skins. We rely on West Ham's performance. Come on you items, let's do it. Alright, in the ground now, I'm gonna get some food because I'm not eating today. A bit of burgers, a bit of chips, be lovely. Cannot wait for the game. It's going to be a good one, I'm hoping. Yeah, More likely yeah. going to get picked over. Yeah. And, uh... Stammer scored in West Brom fans. There was a foul beforehand, meaning it didn't count. Should have been a goal, I think, personally. I think the foul was done after we'd scored, so me and one in West Brom still absolutely gutting. How on earth West Ham didn't score then was unbelievable. This whole game was changed. We're all over. We just need to finish now. 
like literally off the line for us. We should be at least be one more. I cannot believe this. Right, call her again, Lanzini. We're not going to get anything in, are we? The players are literally on the line. How, we need, how we're not scoring now is unbelievable. Come on, Robert Snowgrass to take it. Boot it in. Come on. Antonio again. That, that's another corner of us down. Okay, so Stograss took the free kick, hit straight at the wall. I thought Noble smashed it. It had balled off one of their players. And now it went off. It was offside, but one of their players got down. This is them wasting time now. It's so ridiculous. Half time, one nil West Brom still. How we didn't put anything in the back of the net there. There was a penalty claim at the end. It wasn't a penalty for me. How we didn't score though, it's unbelievable. Come on, you are. Second half's kicked off. I want to go all south. Come on. I want to score. Right, second half's kicked off. We're coming out of everything we've got up front. Just throwing it at them. Just do not need them to counter us. That's right. We're playing really well. Come on. 1 1. It was all over the place. I don't know who put it in the back of the net in the end. Faguli. Yes. Kirk Sabo Faguli. The man I want to score. Come on. Perfect. Come on. All over West Brom. How long have we didn't get a penalty then? It was unbelievable. Got him, just got him. Oh my god, so close to 2 1. We're going, we're going all out at them. We're giving everything we've got. In the box! Go on! No! Oh, missed! 2 1. Oh my god, I didn't even get hit the back of the net. Great goal, who was it? Who scored? Lanzini! That was Manu Lanzini with that goal, I think. Yeah, it was Lanzini. What a goal. Shot him out of the box. Bouncing bottom corner. 2 1 up. Let's hold this out. Robert Snodgrass has played very well today. Well in. Go on, Robert! Oh, God, son! The Goolies come off for Collins. The Goolies played really well today. Well played to him. Last minute goal for them. Just short. Didn't deserve to concede that goal. Slav is going mental at the full fish. He'll say it shouldn't have been a corner. Apparently it shouldn't have been, I don't know. All right, you guys, so I'm with West Ham Fan TV at the moment and I've got to ask him right now, what did you think of the game? Oh, it was disappointing, wasn't it? To come from one nil down, to go 2-1 up, up and yeah. just to the last minute. But do you know what I said? when we filmed post-match play a little while ago, it was uh, it was always going to be a tough game today. Pulis, you know, he's a, he knows how to set up. Yeah. And you see in the second half, I mean, he took his goal scorer off and brought on Johnny Evans because he could see straight away that we were, gonna... we were all over him. But listen, it's, it's two points dropped, but it was a, it was an important game today because if we'd have lost, we'd have been eight points behind them. Yeah, no, that's true. But if we'd have won, we'd have only been two points. So it's still that five-point gap, but yeah. we can chase them down. We're, we're still firing for that top I ten. Mean, I thought it was a good game, to be fair. It was an I mean, entertaining game. Usually when you play West Brom, they're not entertaining, but I really enjoyed today. I yeah. thought Lanzini had a great game, Antonio, Stoggrass, with Yeah. You know, but look, you've got to hand it to West Brom. They come here with a game plan and it worked. They knew how yeah, to set yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Andy Carroll was a massive miss today. This was I, his type I, of game. At the end there, when they scored that goal from the yeah. corner, I thought Andy Carroll could have headed that yeah, away. Yeah, I yeah, thought he yeah, would have been yeah. the man to stop that, but of course, their players are ginormous. Yeah. They're yeah. giant. It's not normal height, they're, they're all their players. So. I thought in the first half they were destroying us. Yeah, it was, it was. They were a, lucky not to have 2 0 up. It was a difficult, yeah, because they hit the crossbar as well, yeah. didn't they? They could have gone 2 up, but that's why I was the one thing I, the only positive I can take out of today is that even going 1 0 down, we still showed the fight and spirit yeah. to come back and take that 2 1 lead. And, you know, football, you've got to play to the final whistle, and that, they threw everything up there. The goalkeeper come up, and it's one of them ones. Randolph, Randolph could have caught it, booted it up there, and we could have won 3 1. Yeah. But they've got the Victor 2 all draw, but. It's football, isn't it? Great, good. It, was great. <laughs> it was a great game, though. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you very nice, much, mate. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Yeah. All right, you guys, so I'm back from the game now. I've just got in um, after having a few drinks and stuff. Uh, really, really good day out. Just want to address a few things. First of all, I just want to say that Upson Park really, really touched me here today. My God, it was just a very depressing place to go, in my opinion. It was just, it was like looking at an empty shell. 
the soul had, is gone from there. It's just, it's really sad to see how it is. And yeah, it, it put a bit of downer on me at first. I really felt deflated afterwards. Um, but yeah, you know, onwards and upwards, nothing I can do about it. Just enjoy what I've got now, you know, at Olympic Stadium. Secondly, the game, uh, really, uh, you know what, I'll tell you what, I know it was really, really disappointing that we let in that last goal, uh, really, really let equaliser in the 94th minute. But at the same time, I thought it was a really, really good game. It was very end-to-end. -end. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought the atmosphere was really good. And, you know, it, we, we played really well. I thought we were unlucky not to win, but that's football for you, you know? And thirdly, I just want to make a really big shout-out to West Ham Fan TV, Ryan, for jumping on my vlog. Really means a lot and very appreciative that you did that for me. So thank you very much. If you enjoyed this vlog, please leave a like, comment, and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you very soon.